Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So as you guys can see, LR Turles is going to be dropping on Global in about 3 days from now, on February 16th at 10.30pm Pacific Standard Time, or February 17th at 1.30am uh, Eastern Standard Time. And in today's video, I want to give you guys all the information you need about this unit by taking a look at his animations, his kit, his banner, and all that good stuff to hopefully help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned dragon stones to try and summon for him. Okay, so with all that said, let's just jump right into it. And the first thing we're going to do is pop over to the Dokkan Twitter page here and take a look at his animations. So let me just throw on some headphones here and here we go. Yeah, I mean, I gotta say, like, I'm not the biggest Turles fan. He's fine. He's a good villain, but I'm not, like, a huge fan of him, right? But these animations um, are top tier. You know, he's got some amazing animations. The only thing that always gets me is this part right here, man. The thing with the tongue, like, why is it gotta be sticking out like that? You know, like, when I'm eating an apple, I don't lick it first before I take a bite, right? So... I mean, of course it doesn't matter, it's not a big deal, and these animations still look great. This is just one detail that's always uh, stuck out to me. Anyways, those are the animations for Turles. This is the um, active skill after we see the 18 key super with his entire team, his entire crew. And uh, yeah, I think they're fantastic. I'm a big fan of the animations, even though Turles himself doesn't do it for me too much. Um, they did a great job, you know, with these animations. So, there's that. Now, let's pop over to the banner that we can expect to see on Global. Now, of course, this was the JP banner. We don't know exactly what the Global banner will look like, but it's most likely going to be very, very similar, if not identical. Alright, so these were the featured units. Obviously, we have Turles as the main new unit, and the rest of the banner is you know, pretty similar to your other Legendary Summon banners, right? So there are no Dokkan Fest exclusives, there are no other LRs, it's just a bunch of pretty good normal units or non Dokkan Fest units, right? So I would say everybody on this banner is useful, is usable. I mean, with the exception of this guy right here and uh, this turret list. Now, I'm not saying they're not usable, but they don't have Extreme Z Awakenings, and they're very old, so they're not ideal at this point, but everyone else on the banner right now can help you in either Extreme Super Battle Road or other events in this game. Like, this Raditz is essential for Extreme Super Battle Road. Uh, these Golden Friezas are amazing with their Extreme Z Awakenings, and uh, yeah, this Kaoken Goku is good, this Frieza is good, this Frieza is also good, Damian Piccolo has his uses, um, he's not bad, and uh, this guy's a good support for uh, Majin Buu Saga. So, like I said, man, it's your standard Legendary Summon banner. If I were to give it a rating, I would say maybe a 5, 5.5 5 out of 10 for value. I don't think it's as good as the um, LR Jiren banner was, and uh, it's definitely not as good as most Dokkan Festival banners, especially Dual Token Fest like anniversaries, or even like normal Dual Token Fest like the uh, PyCon and Janemba one that's coming in a couple months on Global, right? So, um, yeah, if you guys have the spare stones, if you guys really want Turles, I mean, of course, we haven't talked about what Turles does yet, so maybe wait until then. But um, for the most part, legendary summon banners like this are never must summons, you know, like unless you really want the new featured LR. 
The rest of the banner is not that exciting. You can get all of these units on literally every other banner in the game, you know? So free-to-play players typically are recommended to stay away from these or go very light on them. And especially if you have like a decent amount of these units already, then you have even less of a reason to summon, right? So that is my honest opinion about this banner right here. Not the worst we've seen, but far from the best. Now, let's pop over to the Turles himself and talk about his details. Um, and I have said this in the past before and I still stand by it. I think this Turles is better than Tech LR Jiren, who obviously is a monster. He is absolutely amazing, but Turles is better in my opinion, once again. So starting with the leader skill, it's Terrifying Conquerors, category Q plus four, HP, attack, and defense plus 130%. Obviously, he's not the best leader for this category. The uh, STR transforming cooler is the best leader. So if you guys already have the cooler, then you'll pretty much never be using the uh, Turles as a leader, right? He also gives extreme STR types, Q plus four, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. Super attack 12k is Calamity Blaster, which causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And the 18 key is Crushing Massacre. Raises attack for one turn, causes mega colossal damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. By the way, medium chance is 30% and high chance is 50%. His passive is attack and defense plus 130%. Terrifying Conquerors category allies, key plus three, attack and defense plus 30%. And then key plus six, and attacks effective against all types when the target enemy is stunned. Attacks effective against all types and high chance, once again 50% of launching an additional super attack when key is 24. And his active skill is Fruit of the Tree of Might, and his key plus 24 for one turn can be activated when HP is 60% or less, or starting from the eighth turn, from start of battle up to two times. Links are brutal beatdown, prepare for battle, big bad bosses, thirst for conquest, destroyer of the universe, fierce battle, and legendary power. And categories are movie bosses, joint forces, terrifying conquerors, final trump card, and space traveling warriors. And that's pretty much all you gotta know about this unit. Now, um, I did notice, and this is probably the only negative thing I can say about this unit, uh, the attack stat is a little bit low for an LR, okay, so at rainbow status is 20,630. Obviously, it's still quite high for just units in general, but for a new summonable LR these days, it uh, could be a little bit higher, but uh, it's not a huge deal. He still, or they, I guess, are still an amazing unit. By the way, one thing I do really wanna address before we keep going, what is up with the name of this card, man? I mean, a Team Turtles, I get it, it is, technically Turles' team, but they have an official name. It's the Turles Crusher Core. So like, why don't you just call it that? Just call it the official name, like that'd be fine. But I guess they were lazy. I guess they just don't care. And they called it Team Turles. I don't think it's gonna be a deal breaker for most people, but um, you know, the real fans care about this stuff, right? So I'm a little bit disappointed in Bandai and Akatsuki for that name, I'm just saying. Anyways, uh, the card itself, the details are great, great passive, uh, great active skill that can be used twice, which is very unique and also extremely clutch in longer events. And, um, you know, they got the support, they can do a lot of damage, they get some really good defense, attacks effective against all types, the stunning, um, multiple super attacks when you have 24 key, so they can launch up to three supers in a turn if you have a couple of skill orbs or one or two dupes, right? So there's not much more you can ask for from a unit. Like these guys pretty much do everything or at least they do most things. And it's just a fantastic, fantastic unit. Uh, easily one of the best in the game, right? So uh, that is the LR Turles Crusher Core or Team Turles. And that covers everything that we need to talk about in this video, you guys now have all the information you need to decide for yourself whether or not you want to spend your stones on this tier list or if you want to save them for other stuff in the future. Obviously, the main thing is the anniversary with LR MUI Goku and SSB Vegeta coming in July. Um, and then we have another Dual Dokkan Fest earlier than that for uh, Janemba and PyCon. Uh, we have the Bojack 
Dokkan Fest in most likely a couple weeks. And then uh, there's going to be Saiyan Day, there's going to be Goku Day. Um, so still a lot of good banners, a lot of good stuff between now and the anniversary. So if you guys aren't that high on Turles, you don't want him that bad, then as I said, this banner is a pretty easy skip. Turles is amazing, but you know he's not a must-have. A lot of people at this point already have the um, SDR transforming cooler, so you don't need him for his leader skill. The animations are dope, and that definitely enhances the... Um, appeal of the unit to me, but of course that's a personal preference. And uh, my recommendation to the average player, honestly, is to skip this banner. But if you really want Turles, I would still say go very, very easy on it. Okay, do like one, two, maybe three multis if you're feeling dangerous, and uh, call it a day, guys, because this banner is just not great. Turles is great, but there's also better units coming. So, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this LR Turlist edition of a Pass or Pull. Hopefully, watching this video helped you at least a little bit in deciding if you wanna, you know, summon for him or spend stones on this banner. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys are planning to do, okay? Are you gonna be summoning for Turlist? And if so, how many stones? Will you be spending as you guys know your boy tiger always summons on everything so we are going to be streaming um my live summons as soon as the banner goes live but that might be it i don't think i'll be doing any additional videos or any collabs for this banner because once again i don't think it's worth it so i might do like one stream 500 stones see what i get and if i get nothing then i'm gonna just give up you know so uh, hopefully things work out. We'll see, but that's gonna be the video. Thank you so much once again. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.